Hi, still haven't figured out a good introduction yet, but we are gonna go to the park and we're gonna go look for birds. Uh, we're not looking for anything in particular, but I've been to the park before and we saw long-tailed tits there. We saw blue tits, we saw great tits, a lot of tits. And I think, um, I think it's what the people will want to watch. Uh, tits. Uh, it's a really nice day. It's like the first nice day in January. It's like 12 degrees outside and it's blue. Ooh, jigsaw puzzles. Look. Please help yourself. Ooh, boomer puzzles. Well, pick some of those up on the way back. I can hear a lot of birds, can't see them. This is the road that has a scary, has, it has scary car cardboard cutouts of like conservatives on it. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, is this, this is the house. Okay, I'm gonna try and turn so you can see them in the window. Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher. Uh. Yeah, anyway, um, I don't know why that's there. A lot of allotments here. So you can see. Um, not much going on in them at the moment. People just preparing. Their, um, are they even preparing anything? I don't think they're preparing anything. Some like bulbs and stuff go out? No, bulbs go in. The never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's a robin over there. Let's see if I can get him on camera. I don't have my lens attached or anything. I'm just gonna I'm just showing off. Can you see him? That's him up there. Can I zoom in? There he is. So concerned about us, he stopped singing. Let's go back. Oh, it zooms out more than. Well, we got to see him for a bit. Yeah, you can still hear him. Oh, yeah, no, he's over here now. Can you see him? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, that's a different one. Now, the one that flew away is up in this tree. Well, I can see him. I don't think he'll come up on camera. There, there he is. See him? He's right in the middle. Of the frame. There he is. He's singing for us too. Off he goes. That was a nice spot. Good start to the day. Yeah, there's someone in this in this clump of a uh, tree. Oh, there's someone really singing in there. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> they, they were right there. They're eating. They want these berries. You see. These are the berries that they're always trying to eat. And they're always perched very precariously on the outer edges of hedges, trying to get to them. And uh, I didn't even see them. After this, I stuck the lens on my phone and got the first clips of the day. Unfortunately, they were not good. It's almost impossible to stop the camera shaking without a tripod. And I didn't bring it with me because I didn't think I'd need it. And well, you'll see. Here's my attempt to capture this scruffy guy in the undergrowth. The first of many out-of-focus wood pigeons, most of whom were just too badly filmed to keep. May their footage rest in peace. Still heading towards the marsh, but we're taking a detour. We're gonna go first to this little canal, I guess you could call it a canal. But anyway, so there are loads of fresh molehills here. As in, weren't here last week. Fresh. And they're all down that path as well. I'm just going to show you the canal. Also, we've got a surprise sighting of some goldfinches. Now, the video isn't great, but we got some good pictures of the goldfinches. And the goldfinches were on teasel, which is their favorite food. Uh, teasel and thistle, those are their favorites. I thought that teasel was thistle and I didn't know what teasel was. Teasel is teasel and thistle is the other thing. Thistles are smaller. Hmm? Oh yeah, this, this is thistle. 
this is what the goldfinch is like. Anyway, here's some teasel. Okay, so it's bigger. I won't focus, but there we go. Teasel. And now for a little quiz. Can you tell what plant this goldfinch is on? I don't know what happened with the exposure here, but look, two gold pinches. So this is another nice little piece of habitat for uh, water birds, anyone who likes to live in the bulrushes, probably bugs and stuff too. There's a weird table here, a weird little triangle table. There's this one episode of Star Trek where they have this like triangle table for everyone to sit around and mediate their problems. This reminds me of that table. There are two buzzards. It's so hard to get them. I can't focus on them at all. But they're there. They look really nice. There we go. We're almost here. He's super nice. Have you I've never seen these things before? Uh, they're really fun to play with. They like explode into seeds. Yeah, let me show you. These. They make so much. Thank you. Let's try and get just one line. It didn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're blowing towards the camera. This is fine. My uh, camera person is covered in these seats. <laughs> but that's fine. It's not fine anymore. Aha! Well, that was fun. So over time, these just naturally start exploding. Like, I'll just. And there's one that's just, just start doing it. Right, just one bit went poof. Yes! Ah! <laughs> ah! Can't see any more hens. Can't hear them either, which is usually the giveaway. So, we might have uh, caught them on a different date. I don't know where they go. Ooh, did you hear the more hen? Let me play it again. Where they go. Hear that? Where they go. We'll have another look around for the more hen. And if we can't find him, we can't find him. We didn't find him. But what we did find included some more footage of the buzzards we saw. Some cryptid quality footage of a blue tit. Seagulls. Ooh, seagulls. Catkins. Catkins. Cool seed pods. Also fun to play with. And more reeds. So I've just spent the last two minutes trying to get video of the birds in these two trees. There's a flock of goldfinches back again. I just hope that even if you can't see them, hopefully you can hear them. See if you can um, hear everyone singing. There's gotta be Starling or something in there. They're doing the remix. Oh, oh into the sun. Ow, my eyes. Still a really nice day. The clouds that were here have gone. There was like one big cloud I was worried about. Damn it. Oh, and the camera it is unattaching itself. Ah! <laughs>
There he is. Uh huh. There's another one over there. Wait, there he is. Uh huh. There he goes. So, wasn't as successful at getting the birds uh, as I'd hoped. Did get some good videos though. Well, did get a couple of clips of video. How about that? Uh, still been in a really nice walk though. Ooh, a pine cone. Neat. I don't know what tree that's from. If you know what tree that's from, tell me in the comments. You know, if you want to go bird watching, you know you're meant to be going out on a walk because it's good for you and all that. But it's pretty hard to be motivated to do that, especially in winter. But if you have something like um, extra to go out for, like see how many different kinds of birds you can see, it doesn't matter if you don't see very many, you still saw, you still see some. And then each one that you see that you hadn't seen yet, it's like, ooh, I ticked off another one on my like you know little objectives, and it can make a fun like you know like mini game to play if you're on a walk. And it also means that if you see a bird you haven't seen before, you have to go look it up and identify and stuff. It's like really exciting. So the construction started up again. I don't know what they're making though. I don't know what that machine is. It's pretty cool though. We've got big cables out. Also the construction stopped, so there's less of that. There was a lot of construction sound earlier. There was a lot of road noise earlier because we were over by the road. That's gone now too. So, just gonna walk for a bit and I'll pause and try and take videos of any birds that I see so you can have a look at them. Hope you enjoy going bird watching with me. Cool old lock. Pretty neat. Squire. Forged steel shackle. Neat. Is that a bit? Four brass levers. Four. Damn! 